San Francisco recently became the first city in America to allow driverless robo-taxis to operate 24-7 throughout the city. In California, more than 40 companies have been granted permits to test drive their self-driving cars. But two of them, Cruise owned by GM and Waymo owned by Google, have been given the green light to expand throughout San Francisco and charge customer fares. But it hasn't been an easy road. The testing has been full of mishaps, with driverless cars inexplicably stopping in traffic. The San Francisco Fire Department documented 55 incidents involving autonomous vehicles. So we're saying if somebody dies or people are killed because these vehicles are blocking the road, are they going to hold the executives personally responsible for the deaths of people because of these robo-taxis? But that didn't stop California's Public Utility Commission from voting 3-1 to one to approve expansion, much to the disappointment of taxi drivers. It's going to hurt us. Uber and Lyft, they're already hurting our business. And then we don't need an, uh, an additional competition. But just a day after the approval, social media lit up with videos of cruise autonomous vehicles stopping and causing traffic jams as the city's Outside Lands Music Festival took place. Crews apologized on X, formerly known as Twitter, saying the large festival posed wireless bandwidth constraints, causing delayed connectivity to our vehicles. Robo-taxi passengers we talked to say they've enjoyed their rides for the most part, but have experienced hiccups. It was some weird intersection, and it kind of just stopped in the middle because there were some cars that were coming, and it obviously just didn't really know what to do and just stopped. It stopped for a reason. It was behind like a tow truck or something with hazards on in the middle of the street, and the car, I don't know, I guess had a hard time detecting what it was and going around it. Um, so I was waiting behind that tow truck for like five minutes, and someone calls, and they said, we're trying to figure it out. All of these things are glitches and bugs in the algorithm. The, the good thing about it is the car stops. It's not accelerating. It's not taking any other action. The problem is if it's not done in San Francisco, it's going to be done somewhere else. And this is the opportunity that we don't want to lose. In light of the recent driverless car fueled traffic jams, the president of San Francisco's Board of Supervisors says he's looking to file a petition to revisit the expansion approval. He and many others believe the vehicles are far from perfect. But the question is, will they make the streets safer in the long run? Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.